children, can you believe we are seniors and this is our last Sunday school Christmas program? I know. You and I have been in so many Christmas programs. Remember that one year when you were a shepherd? <laughs> I remember. You were a wise man that year. We sure showed everyone that Jesus was born into a stable environment. <laughs> what, is your, what is your favorite part of the Christmas story? My favorite part is when the wise guys, I mean the three wise men, follow the star to find Jesus and bring him amazing gifts. My favorite part is when the little drummer boy finds Jesus and plays his drum. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judah, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there is no guest room available for them.
and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I will bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. In the town of David, the Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah of the Lord. This will be a sign unto you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go on.
It is actually written in 1941. But we can still learn a few things from the little drummer boy. We see a poor boy who doesn't have any gifts that would compare with that of the wise man. He simply comes before Jesus with nothing but his drum and a desire to offer the best of what he has. <coughs> he plays his best in the newborn game. You're right. The little drummer boy represents all of us. Like the little drummer boy, we are all poor compared to what God has given us, his son. No earthly possession we could ever have is fit to give the newborn king. God doesn't care about how much money we have or how famous we might be. God has given each of us unique talents and abilities to serve Him. Those are what God wants from us as a response to His priceless gift of the Messiah. When we use what God has given us, God is pleased beyond measure. Just like in the song when the little boy plays his drum for baby Jesus, God smiles. When we give our best to God, God smiles. This Christmas season, may we all be reminded to give our best to God.